Okay, okay, okay. This is my impression of SpongeBob. Okay, I've never, I've tried it. I'm trying to pass five minutes. Here we go. You ready? I'm ready. Rate it. Clink it, it. Now, now drink it. it. That was nice. It was nice. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to an all right podcast. Remember, it's not the best podcast, not to no. But the worst podcast, it's just Hello everybody, welcome back to the <laughs> Alright Podcast Remember, it's not the best podcast, not the worst podcast, just The Alright Podcast Thank you, so episode 82, 82. Bang in the mail, bang in the mail Remember guys, ju- we, just before we start What do you think of my impression of Spongebob? Let me know I'm ready um, And also, um if you haven't known already, we have a funded page for uh, our next uh, short film that's coming out. We leave a link down in the description below. We've done a whole episode on episode 81, Last wasn't week. it? Yeah. On, on it. So, um, check yeah. it out. And um, if you can, please support us. We really appreciate all your help. Thank you. And that's all we're going to say on that. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. Anyway. What's up? What's the topic for this one? So, week? our topic today, you don't know what our topic is. I don't. Is yet. I asked you to pick one because I, I, I like mysterious. Mysterious. And I think the way you're dressed and, you know, the whole colourful and the sun, we might talk about holidays. Holidays? Yeah. I have a lot of stories oh, about holidays. Do you? Yeah. Let's hear them. Right. One memory that I'll always remember. I went over to Puttons in Wales, right? Me, Christopher, these two girls, okay? (laughs) One girl was afraid of boards. She was afraid of boards. And if you don't know, Puttons is full of seagulls. It's by the beach, is it? It's close to the beach. Okay. Puttons was full of seagulls. Right. And these seagulls were on steroids. Okay, like they were big seagulls. They were like three right. times the size of a normal seagull, right? All of them. They're like an army, right? right? Sorry, I feel they so went, rude. They went through training, did they? They went through training. They done loads of stuff, right? They had a, a meal plan. Everything. <laughs> a diet plan. They were going, <laughs> right? They're going mad. Waking up at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, Nicola. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so they were like that. I remember we came back, we were walking back to, because they wanted to go back to their chalet to get something before we went into the main building. Right. When I tell you, this girl, every time she hear, ah, or like that, she was like, ah, 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 and I mean, she was running. But there were chalets, right? And then, so you have your bottom floor chalet, and then you have like a stairs around the corner that goes up to the top, right? When I tell you she was running uh, past people's windows, that families were having oh, breakfast no. or din- sorry, dinner and stuff like that, as on or having lunch or a meal. Yeah. All I'd say, if you were sitting in that uh, room, the apartment and them chalets, all you'd hear is this, ah! <laughs> I was laughing so much. It was so funny. That's and so funny. people are, there are people out there that are afraid of birds. Oh yeah. Like birds used to, like they're relatives to dinosaurs, so I can see how birds are weird. They're, they come at you flying and mm. stealing your chips and all this kind mm. of stuff. So. Well that's one of my stories, but before I get into hounding this podcast over, what experience do you have on holidays? Because I've only ever been, right, these are my places I've ever been, right? right? And I'll tell a story in each one. Okay. Wales. Right. London. Mm. Edinburgh. Mm. Uh, like you've been around Ireland. Bristol. Yeah. Ireland doesn't count. So we're doing foreign holidays. Well, ho- well, we can do whatever holidays once it's a holiday. Okay. okay. So, go on. Tell us a bit about your holiday. So my holidays. Okay. Let me think. Right. So I've been to Spain, France, uh, Portugal, Jesus. Lanzarote, what? Bulgaria. What? I didn't know you ever went to Bulgaria. Yes, you did. And I, I, I swear told to you God. the story I before. swear to God, I cannot register in my head that you went to Bulgaria. Um, I was that with the school? No. Like, I've been to Spain three times, I think. Look at you, fancy. Um, France and Portugal. Three I times? I think that's all the countries. I've been to London and Edinburgh. Yeah. Um, and Bristol. You've been to Bristol because we went down to Bristol? Yeah. Um, For a day I trip. think that's all. I don't think I've been anywhere else. Yeah, that's it. That's madness, isn't it? I'd like to go more places, though. Would you? Yeah. I'd love to go somewhere. And we have a sad We nails. have a very sad story to right. tell. Do you want to tell them because it was I'll, your idea? I'll tell them. So, if you don't know, November 28th, 
I left Wait, my... Wait, what year? 2019. Okay. What, what date did I leave my job? The 11th of December. The 11th or 12th of... Yeah. December. Yeah. I got paid on the 28th of November. Right? <clears throat> it was my last pay. That you knew of? of that I knew of. Mm. I got 1,400, 1,500 euro. That was your average pay. Mm. I said, what am I going to do with this money? I don't know what to get Nicola. For Christmas. For Christmas. And I wanted to top it off. So, oh what, I done, <laughs> what I done was, oh my God, right. I, oh no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, I want to stop this podcast for a second. <laughs> this sad story. We just saw, we're in front of Starbucks right now. We just saw someone come out of a, a drive through and like, they were in a taxi, but, but it was like a van. Yeah. And the door was wide open and the fellow was handing Starbucks and he turned around and, and kind of looked as in like, oh, the door's open. And, and he he's trying, trying to get the he's door. He's trying to open it. Right. Sorry. <laughs> Distraction. That okay. was funny. His face. Anyway, November 28th, I go over the Cassidy Travels, every valley. And with every bit of money I have left, I decided you know what Nicola deserves a holiday and at the time I wasn't thinking of myself for a holiday I really wasn't and people can say what they want I was literally thinking what would be a good Christmas present for Nicola and I could top it off because I don't have a job now so I need to you know get a good uh, present and I paid a thousand euro off I paid a thousand euro because the girl was like right so do you want to pay the deposit I goes no I want to pay a thousand euro right now and she goes oh Oh, okay, great, great. And she was like, she wasn't expecting this. Yeah. And um, I, that's what I done. I paid, um, and then for about two months after that, I paid every week. I paid arrears. Yeah. Because uh, it was like the the holiday wasn't cheap. Like. Yeah. So I just paid for two, three months, about two, three months, um, certain a bit of money yeah. uh, to add up to the rest because I needed money for myself. Yeah. So I knew I could do that. So when the holiday was paid. Um, Christmas morning came and I'll hand it to you right so first of all before Christmas you were dying to tell me what you had got me for my yep. present as you do all the time you're like can I tell you what it is can I show you what it is yeah, I don't like keeping secrets yeah. so I was like no 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 you have to keep it a secret until Christmas so um, up until then you were like it's the biggest present I ever got you I couldn't even bring it home in the taxi I was like I can't even carry it on my back I was like what kind of present could you have got? Because it can't even fit in the house. Yeah, it's like, what kind of present could you have got that you couldn't fit in the house, but it fits in my Christmas stocking? Like, I just couldn't make mm. sense of it. Mm. So... Chris- when you think back to an area, you go, oh, right. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay. So Christmas morning came, and you were like, uh, right, here's your presents. So I opened up the the, the envelope. Sock. The sock. The st- yeah, the Christmas sock, and then the envelope. And I looked at it, and I seen, like, Spain, Salou books for like Nicola and Auntie and I was like no yeah no yeah I was like no and I was so excited yeah and um because you you have this fear of flying on I airplanes do. I do and, I and like, people know if yeah. you watch if you watch uh, if you go to my private channel uh well it's my per- my own personal channel um Tonto um you will watch our vlogs to go into Edinburgh and to London and to London yeah. and James and Sarah and all yeah. and Rebecca and Casey as well so but yeah so you had booked it for us to go in May for a week yeah. and we were so excited because we kept looking up the roller coaster park mm. and we just wanted to go on got obsessed all. with roller yeah. coasters we, and what roller coasters were we going all of them in uh, Port Ventura yeah Port and Ventura Ferrari. and Ferrari Land yeah. the, the tallest European roller coaster yeah and the and fastest, fastest in Europe Um, I think it's the second fastest in Europe no it's the fastest oh, in is it? Europe yeah how does how fast they go I don't know I'd have to look up. I think it goes from 0 to 200 and something in less than 5-6 seconds yeah that's fast but I remember we would literally watch roller coaster videos for like hours every day yeah and, and I used to watch them, them on, and we'd get so excited, like, oh, and it'd be like we're on the roller coaster. Because like, oh. we watch point of view videos, so yeah. you feel like you're in it. You're actually sitting right, in but the anyway, coaster. anyway, anyway. Yeah. So, go on with the story. Coronavirus hits. Yes. We can't go in 2020. We said, you know what? It's grand. Next year we'll book it for 2021. Guess what? We now have to reschedule for next year yeah. because the coronavirus is still here. I'd say next year. 
I we're really going to have hope, to do it again. No, I really hope by next year we'll be able to go. Surely we will. It's sad. I paid for an all-inclusive, so we... Is that... There is he. There he is now. Yeah, yeah, there he is. There he is. Um, right, so... I paid for an all-inclusive. And, and the, ho the oh, hotel the is hotel, lovely. hotel, oh my God, just looking at it. It looks amazing. And you have your pool outside. And you're right beside the beach. And... It's tall building and... There's also a private pool, I think, as yeah. well, is there? and breakfast and dinner was included. So, breakfast and dinner was included. Yeah. Breakfast and dinner, breakfast was it? Breakfast and dinner. Or was it breakfast and lunch? No, it was breakfast and dinner. Breakfast and dinner was included. We're going for seven nights, yeah. or six nights, seven nights. I've never been to any Spain. You've never, I have been never to witnessed. A hot country. I've never witnessed walking off the plane and the heat just going. Whoo, the and amount of people over here. Yeah. yeah. I just we, uh, our family could never. You know, there was a, there's a lot of us in our family, so we can't really afford oh, that. You know, yeah. so um, yeah. But Jesus, and now we have to reschedule. Like literally, just think of being on the beach and the sand. The I'm afraid I'm gonna get sunstroke. No, you just stay Heat hydrated. Stroke. Wear sun cream, sunglasses, and a hat. You'll be fine. I don't want to wear a hat. Why? I want to. I want to go around hat. Protect hatless. your head from the heat. <laughs> well, my head's bald now, and it's I'd not say bald. You have hair on top. Well, of I have hair now. Nicola gave it a little fresh fade there. You can't see because of the little, the little um, the balls. We brought the balls back because. Gives look at that! Look, look at that! Looks like two balls on a willy. <laughs> Thanks for making it dirty. <laughs> Can we do this? <laughs> Lovely. Now he only has one ball. <laughs> but anyway, our looks like two eyes, crazy eyes, a white and yolk, and his nose. Like look. Purple. Yeah, look. <laughs> um, we've noticed we've noticed the viewers haven't been. And we think it's all down to the balls. You, you love the balls. <laughs> <laughs> so if these viewers go up because it is balls, we're keeping the balls in. Yeah. Right. This this that's podcast our, that's needs our balls. Trademark. Yeah, that's, <laughs> we have balls. Yeah, this this podcast <laughs> needs balls. But anyway, yeah. So sadly, we have to book now uh, for next year, and hopefully, we can go on July the twelfth because my birthday is on July fourteenth, and I'd love to be in for uh, part of Ventura. Right. So, what would you do, right, if you were in Spain for your birthday? What would your ideal day? Part of Ventura. No, no, right. So you wake up in the morning. What do you do? Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Um, <laughs> First my of all, glasses wait. at the door. I'm going to hit the city. Picture the scene, right? right? You're waking up, right? It's your birthday morning. You're in a hotel room. The bed is nice. The yeah. cushions are fluffy. The, the first sun, thing I'll the do. The sun is coming in through the window. The first thing I'll do. Air conditioning is on. Right, right, right. Okay. The first thing I'll do is I'd wake up. Right. I'll look around the room. Look at you and go, ugh. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'd get out of bed right. and literally open up the curtains and let right. the sunshine come in because right. you know me the weather affects my mood it does it does and I don't know about other people but if it's like it's it's hot today and it's sunny on and off and it's giving me that little mm, but when it's raining I'm pretty sure a lot of people go through mm. it's just my mood changes miserably when you yeah. wake up and I let the, the I let the weather control my mood you do when it's bad but if I was in Spain mm. every day would be a good day yeah I'd l I would complain a lot out in the heat. I'd be like, it's too hot, let me go back. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be, I, but I, I know I'd enjoy it. Um, but so, I'd do that. I'd go in and get a shower, get my clothes, go down, me and you have our uh, breakfast, then we'll go to the bus and we'll go in and we'll spend all day in Port Ventura. Come back in the evening for breakfast time. For breakfast time? Uh, for for dinner, <laughs> dinner time. We'll have lunch out there. And I'll take photos, you know, photography and stuff. Yeah. I want to take photos that day. I want to develop film as well. I want to take film and get them developed. Oh, and just go on the roller coasters and, you know, into the water park as well. And Right. Picture you're in Port Ventura. You've just walked in for the first time. What's the first roller coaster you're going on? Oh, my God. This is <laughs> That's what I'd be like. I'd be like, oh, my God. This right. is crazy. You, and then I'd, I'd grab you like this and go, Nicola. I'm closing my eyes to, yeah. to the yoke and go, Nicola, we're finally here on my birthday. Like, I would. You know me. You know. I don't open my eyes now. No. Right, so you walk in the gate. Right. What's the first roller coaster you're going on? <laughs> first of all, wait, wait. Are you going to start off small and build your way up? Or are you going to go for the big one? I think I'd go on... I think the first one I'd have to go Oh, I think the first one I'd have to go on is the Furious Backo. You go big. 
No, no. Is that a big one? Yeah. The Furious Pack was the one I went on. Remember, it spins upside down oh, over the yeah, water. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I think, no. I think the first one would be the Furious Back one. Really? The second one would be Shambhala. Oh. And then the third. I feel, no. I feel like the, the, the first one I'd get on is the... Um, Furious Back up? Furious Back up. And then the second one I'd get on... The dragon one? I don't know because like the dragon has the eight hoops. Yeah. The dragon can in part of Ventura has eight hoops and the spins. I think that I'd leave that to last because I'd need that hype after Shambhala. After Shambhala, because Shambhala is so high that drops and then the up and the loops and yeah. all. You would have so much, oh, you'd jump straight into yeah. the dragon can. Oh yeah, you would. Once you get that initial rush from one roller coaster, you want to go and do them all. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So you wouldn't start off small and work your way up. You just no. go for the first one. Go hard or go home. And then get the excitement. Do you know I'm very, very scared to get on the Ferrari one? Yeah. But do you know what you do to me every time we get on a roller coaster? What? We're sitting on a roller coaster and it could be the smallest little roller coaster ever, right? You're holding my hand and you're like, you fucking made me do this. You made me do this. Get me off. Get me off. I want to go home. I want to get off. And you just, you do that for the start. But then once it starts, you're fine. You're like... I do this face. I do this face. This face, I'm like, like that, yeah. Yeah, but you're like, you're holding on to the railings, and you're like, yeah, I like this. You're looking around, and you're like, I don't want to do it. Hoping I don't want to do it. And then after maybe three or four times, you're like, oh, I like this. Ah! You're like, that. think about right. <laughs> think about we're going fast, yeah, and we're going fast, and then you go up like yeah. that. You're just and going then up you, straight. And then you go over there. Curve. I'm afraid of heights, and we're going to be so high, and that drop. You think I? I honestly think the drop in the Kukulin is horrible. Like my oh, no, stomach. No, you love it now though. No, you no, like no as problem. in oh, that's fucking high. Like my you, stomach. But your stomach doesn't really go up in that drop. I don't. Yeah, think. but listen, my stomach does. Everybody's stomachs is different. <laughs> my stomach is like that, and I'm like, oh, and then I'm like, oh, when is well, this over? That drop is gonna kill me. Yeah, but listen, right. After a couple of times you went on the Kukulin, you're like, oh, this is grand. I can take it now. It's not bad. Like, you don't feel it after a while because you're, you get used to the feeling. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just mad. And I think it's going to be crazy. And, uh, yeah, so, like, but our experiences were... Um, so what what would be your experience, like, um, what what was, what is an experience? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right with that question? <laughs> What's wrong with me? You're lost in the roller coaster. What's your world. funniest? What's your funniest story or experience that you had while on holidays with a family member? Right, I told you this before, but I'll tell. I'll say it again. So we went to uh, Bulgaria one. I can't remember this. One Christmas, and we stayed there until New Year's. I can't remember that. Well, I was really young. I was probably like. We went in two thousand and four. I think. Jesus. I remember. Was it two? I can't remember, but it was. Yeah. Uh, like it was a long time ago I was probably like about eight or seven mm. and we went skiing so uh, we'd go to like the, the kids ski park every day and my and I would go to the oh one. yeah 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 and uh, so they'd have all the little kids in the skiing park and my brother he <laughs> there was this other little girl in the skiing park and um, she had like a crush or something on my brother and she used to keep throwing snowballs at him yeah. and him would throw snowballs back at her and then I think he kissed her one day but he like he, he got like real player. real like get away from me and he like pushed her or something and her he kissed her and then pushed her no she kissed him or something but like because there used to be like this little mascot dressed yeah. up in like a costume yeah. and he'd take pictures in the, like the kiddie camp yeah and she'd always like kind of go over to Emmett or something and oh like oh my god she knew what she it wanted was funny. she knew what she wanted yeah but that was a really f I just from that holiday I just remember going skiing and we'd sit on the little sleds and go down the ski slope and um, would your man dad go on the bigger ones yeah we went on a couple of big ones as well um it's actually it's really you kind of get used to skiing really quickly pizza french, french fry. fry french fry <laughs> pizza they say when you're skiing uh, it's in South Park if you want to go fast you do french fries and if you want to slow down you have to be in the shape of a pizza you have yeah. to cross your feet would um, you ever go skiing um i don't know no i don't know you don't know i don't know um i've seen a lot of skiing videos and uh there's a lot of accents so yeah i don't know i'll see hi oh, you want fries are they 
<laughs> Your friends. Um, but for you personally, mm. you your own experience. Yeah. What was a funny part of of a, of a holiday? Like I don't know. Um, have you ever had fun on a holiday? Yeah, I've had fun on all the holidays. Obviously, yeah. Why, right. monster? Um, I remember one time when we went to Lanzarote. We went on a camel ride, mm. so we were sitting on the camel, like the camel's That's back. Mad. And see, the way they do it is you have like a little seat on one side and a seat on the other, so it's balanced on both sides. You're not sitting on the hump, like you're sitting on a little yeah. thing either side. And the camels walk up the mountain, and they're literally, you're sitting on this little box on the side of the camel. Yeah. So you're like out over the edge of the mountain. And you literally think, if this camel takes one bad step, you're going off the side of the mountain. Because the the, all twist, the camels, I think, I don't know if they're linked up. Mm. I think they're linked up. So on like everybody a, will go. I can't remember if they're linked up. Or, but they follow each other anyways. And yeah. they follow each other up the mountain. Mm. And you're literally like holding on for dear life because you're on the edge. And in Lanzarote, it's not like a mountain we have in Ireland. It's all like the red rock. And it's like red dust and real dusty. Because it's like volcanic. Oh. It's like a volcano. So... Like the the dirt is real crumbly. Yeah. It's not like hard rock. It's yeah. real crumbly, like sand kind of. It's weird. Isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> have you have you ever seen a volcano erupt or hear? There was well, not erupt, but when you get to the top of the mountain, there's these little like steam holes. Oh. And like the steam comes out like that, and you're not meant to stand near them because you'll get hit with it. Like so. If you got hit steam, with one of them, oh, you'd burn. Like the steam. I think we have a video. Of, like the steam just comes up like that and. So it's, it's real loud, yeah, and then it goes back down. Yeah. It's cool. Imagine being on top of a mountain and a volcano erupted. You'd be dead. You'd have the to run. lava would get you. You'd run. Oh yeah, but you couldn't outrun it. La- if the lava got you, yeah. Think about it. You would f- you would burn in your feet. Your yeah. legs would burn. You'd fall in because your legs and your face would burn. It would be a horrible way to b- die. Yeah, well, obviously they wouldn't bring you up the side of a mountain if it was active, like. Yeah. So, That's true. You know that kind of way. <laughs> but we went, we went um, to London, didn't we? We did. And we that was fun. In 2019. 2018. Over 2018. December the, 2018. And into the new year of 2019. Yeah. And we went, we went there, and it was nice and pleasant. I like that. I like that too. And um, we got on the big uh, Ben. The bi- we didn't get on Big Ben. Oh, sorry, the- I was about to say Big Ben. Big Ben was <laughs> the, con- constructed. The, the London Eye. Yeah. The London Eye. I almost fucking died. We got on the shard because of the height. We got. In the- we went into the shard, which is the tallest building in London or England or whatever. We went to Harry Potter World. We went oh. to Harry Potter World, and what happened was is that we got to see. Everything they keep everything from the film. All in there. the little mementos and the behind the scenes and the costumes and the props and everything. Every there's. I Dobby, wanna go. We seen Dobby. We seen Dobby. We seen the actual Dobby in a case. And we seen the. My Voldemort. brother called me Dobby this morning because we're here. <laughs> we seen the Voldemort when he's like in the little cripple. Yeah, he's position. the he's the baby again. Yeah. Like he's he's only being born. Um, We've seen it, all like the the troll in the dungeon. We've seen everything mm. and all the the sets. Mm. And I want to go with Sarah and James. Oh, your cup fell off. I want to go to Harry Potter World with yeah, Sarah and James. Yeah, because we we seen it. We probably spent about three and a half, four hours walking around. But if we go with Sarah and but James, we're going to be go, spending a whole day in there. Yeah, but see, we went around, but we didn't stop and read everything. Like we didn't do the full kind no, of thing. We, we just did, looked at stuff. We and just went looked on. and went. Yeah, I think we should need but to. But we need to actually take because by when we went then, you had only seen three of the Harry Potter films. Really? Yeah, when we went, and it's only after then, like last year, you seen all the rest of them. Yeah, that's so true. you'd get more of an understanding of it now. Yeah, that's true. I I don't understand it more. Yeah. Do you know where else we should go to? Where we should go to like uh, Warner Brothers Studios in like America or somewhere. You can see all them. Why? What's in there? It's the same kind of thing. It's like all the, the sets and the behind the scenes and for Harry Potter or for for Disney like ones? Warner Brothers, like, like oh, all the oh, movies oh, they've oh. done. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, it'd be amazing. Where's one place you'd love to go? Or one holiday trip you'd like to do? Um, I would like to go to. I don't know actually. I'd like to do like a backpacking tour, kind of for like two, three weeks, and start off maybe in like France, and then go to Germany and Hungary and Austria and Italy, and do like all around kind of for like two, yeah. three weeks, and only spend like a couple of nights in each place. I'd like to do that. 
Like, I don't know, to be honest. Um, I'd be grateful to go anywhere at this stage. <laughs> Would um, you go to America? I don't know. I don't like planes. I don't like, and I don't, wouldn't, I wouldn't like to go on, but you can't let that make you no. not go out and see the world. Because you've been on loads of planes by now, so you're you're getting more used to them. I've been on the you're, same route. Yeah, but, but I haven't been like on, on them for a long time. I've went, I think the longest I've ever been on a plane was an hour and ten minutes. Yeah. So. But it's not that bad. Like I, I find like especially when we're going to London and Edinburgh, you're literally up and down, and you don't even kind of realise. Well, I don't, anyways. I remember we went over to Edinburgh, and. We were only up in the air mm. and we were going over and it was about 10, 15 minutes into it. Next of all, the sign came on, seatbelts, and my instant reaction was, oh, we're going to die now. And I remember <laughs> putting on the seatbelt and sitting there going, and then I'm like, eh, why is the seatbelt sign on? And goes, oh, we're going to be landing in a few minutes. Yeah. And I goes, what? We're only up in the air. And she yeah. goes, oh, no, yeah, but the, the it, it was fast. Yeah, because of the wind or whatever. Like, we were, we literally <clears> got over there in, like, 40 minutes, 25 oh, minutes yeah. or something. It's, it's such a short distance, though, like, to go from here to Edinburgh. Yeah. And, so. and if you haven't been to Edinburgh, I'd recommend Edinburgh. Mm. It's really, really nice. It literally looks like Harry Potter world. And Edinburgh is the posh side of uh, Scotland. Mm. And I didn't know that. Um, I got told that. And... Um, it's really fucking nice and I think as soon as the lockdown is over I think the first place we're all going oh, excuse, excuse me you. is Edinburgh all, oh, the, yeah. all, all the friends are going to Edinburgh and we're going to stay there for about five days yeah um, we have to because mm. it's 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 a place that we've all learned to go over like we've been over to Edinburgh how many times twice twice yeah would have been twice one with Casey we went in Sarah. July then we went in October. Jeez, it's only twice. It feels yeah. like we went over like four times. I know. Maybe because we went over and back. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know once up again. Uh, but yeah, that's it. We didn't really get into much holiday things. We, well, we were talking about holidays, really, yeah. but any stories and so I had, I had lots of stories, but the podcast is coming to an end now. So, mm. um, what could I leave you with a story? Give us a story. Hmm. I can't think of any stories now. Um, I think the board story was funny. Um, I, I remember that as gas. Um, yeah, that's that's it really. I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so that's, that's that's it for me. <laughs> Tell us somewhere you'd like to go on holidays when all of this is over. Yeah, where would you like to go? Would you like to? Tell me, tell me a food you'd like to try somewhere. A food? Yeah. Me? Yeah. A croissant from France. I'd like to know the. I'd like to know. I'd like to try the bread and break the bread. Oh, from France. Yeah. They do the nicest bread. You should have a snail from France. No, ew, no. Why? No. Your snails are different. Slimy. Oh, la ba da ba da ba dee. La ba dee. Oh my god, I think that's racist. No. I don't know. It won't be racist. Everything's racist nowadays. Anyway. Anyway, right. So we're gonna go. Um, we have stuff to do today. Sure. No, we don't. <laughs> um, yeah, so guys, thanks very much for watching another episode of the RE Podcast member. Uh, from the pages down below, please link in the description. Please go help us fund it. We're on 1,020 or so far. We're 40% of the way there. Yeah, we need another 60% to make it 2,500. Um, and then we can fund our film. Um, the so Hitman. The Hitman. So uh, thanks very much for that. And also follow us on Instagram um, on the on the Dream Factory Productions because I think that that's where we be, post. Everything. That's where we post all our stuff for the Hitman and our production company. But that's it for now. So yes, my name is Anthony. I'm Nicola. And you've been watching our episode of the All Right Podcast. Remember, it's not the best podcast, not the worst podcast. It's just the All Right Podcast. Guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.